doing font clamp calculations with your fonts is pretty simple and we did a video on that yesterday go and check it out but what if you wanted to do something with images whereby between a minimum and a maximum width or viewport you wanted your images to shrink from say 50 percent on the desktop to maybe 20 percent when you get to the mobile I'm going to show you how to do that and it's really simple with again a font clamp calculation i've gone and worked it out and i've created the tool you can access it for free you can jump to it right away by clicking the link in the video description but let me quickly explain what i mean so on screen we have an image if we go to the style this is set to 50 vw on the desktop and then i've got another version over here so imagine this was on the mobile now I might want to go to 20, but I want it to scale. I don't want to get the jump where it goes 50 and then boom, it goes to 20 when you get to say the mobile size. I want to have a scale and this is how you do it. When you click the link, you will be familiar with our clamp calculation generator. Yeah, we have the electronic version over here as well. But this particular modification I've made, I've only made to this Excel part of my sheet. Scroll down and you'll get taken to here. You want to go to the new yellow tab, VW percentage clamp. All you got to do is decide on your minimum and maximum. I'm just going to go with 500. I'm going to say my maximum is, say, 1,000. So between 1,000 to 500, that's when I want to have the scaling kick in. And we're going to say that the smallest is 20%. But the biggest is 50 and look you can see the formula modifies for you over there what you do is just copy over the formula go back over to your image and i've got another copy image over here so that you can still see the original 50 and 20 if you want to do some comparison we're going to go over to the style tab make sure you are not on pixel you got to go over to the clamp calculation pencil finger thing go and paste in the formula one word of warning is that you must do this in the desktop so you don't want to be in the tablet or the mobile or any of a breakpoint so when we now preview it here is the image with the clamp and the first thing you're going to say is but that is smaller than this one well, that's because this image is not working within a parameter. This is doing 50% of my entire screen, which isn't really the way you want to do it. Because if I was to now extend my screen and you're not going to see it properly on my 49 inch super ultra wide screen, it starts to look ridiculously big. So if I just get this back to here, now if I was to shrink this to be a thousand, which is now here, that is a match. And that is the 20% uh, percent when you get to 500 pixel width. If I shrink this down, eventually you're going to get to a point where we are now at the, well, we're beyond the 500 point. In fact, this is 487. If I increase it, you can see it starts to grow back out and then we hit the top maximum threshold. So between 500 and 1000, this is going to start to scale up. Now you could argue, well, did we have to use this alternate formula? Couldn't we have just used this? Yeah, you could get away with this as well. But if you are one of those people that builds using VW for your images, so you have like a minimum and a maximum threshold, and you want your images to go from 100% to 30%, you can go and use this new added sheet to the formula calculation generator supernova thingy midgy. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you soon.